What's up, guys? Me again. Um, this is a quick. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, some of the stuff I have for my boots, and I am a boot and shoe freak. You know, I don't. I like shoes. You know, I like boots, and uh, I do more than wearing them. I like to maintain the leather. Um, what I'm saying is that I got shitload of there's a shoe shoe shine box that I have and um, and there's just one I have another one and this is the stuff I use for my red wings I use this this is the leather protector and the nature seal this is uh, to waterproof my red wing boots um, so I got that I got a, oh crap I got another one here so basically that's three items sorry I need to get my thing that fell here um, three items for the red wings and then I also have uh, red wing black shoe cream whenever you're gonna get polish it's better you get it on the cream because it'll last longer if you get the little like grease one, the the hard one, it won't last as long. If you get this uh, shoe cream on the glass jars, they last longer. Um, I got some melatonin uh, shoe cream black, and then I have some camel camel color. I got my wife has some red boots, so I bought a red one for her red boots. Uh, I got a uh, light brown some um, saddle color saddle brown um, also some London tan um, this is dark brown and this is medium brown so I got a lot of brown because most of my boots are brown I got very few black um, so these are just uh, uh, polished creams. So they are in a, ja in a glass jar. They last longer if they're kept there. Um, and then I have this is for the uh, sole edge and heel polish, black and brown. This is the uh, black one, and this is uh, the brown one. So I got. The all the heels I got some sponge dabbers for either color or cream I got a portable uh, travel shoe shine basically it's like a thin silicone thing it's a little sponge you twist it open it's a little sponge and then you put the dust it off and put some silicone covering on it for protection on my red Martin, my duck martens this is duck martens also this is the Wonder Balm, very good for leather, but it's a uh, beeswax. This is the Dovin. The Dovin is a little bit more stronger than the than the balm, and this one actually, what it does, it does uh, waterproof the sh the leather, and it also makes it very so very soft. It's, it, it becomes very very soft when you put this stuff in. And another uh, Wonder Balm, and this is my Dr. Martin's. Uh, a brush so basically I do this uh, to remove the dust from the boots or Dr. Martin shoes and this is another sponge Dr. Martin's it's like this one the same as the portable one or travel one but this is a full-size uh, silicone uh, thing I got some Dr. Martin's uh, shoelaces extras I got some uh, some extras, some extra shoelaces. Yes, I do have extra shoelaces. Why the hell will it need extra shoelaces? But you know, you never know. I, I I do tear them up sometimes. So, so that's this is just for my um, my first uh, shoe box, and this is mostly for my Red Wings, my Dr. Martins. 
in my uh, uh, my western my western boots. Sorry about the noise. My western boots. Um, this is what I use mostly on those type of shoes. Now I got some more crap and the polished cloth. So this is just part one for the shoe stuff. Now let me get oh crap oh shit. Let me get get the other stuff going. Uh, extra red wing insoles. Um, I got some shoe shine from Mexico. Works pretty good. I got some Apache cream. Apache cream is for um, roughed up oily leathers, so that's what I got Apache cream for. And I got this big four. This one, the big more big four, is awesome shit. This is very good for any type of leather, and it's uh, it's not uh, oil based. I think it's water based, so um, it doesn't leave a sticky, you know, oily feel to the boot or the leather. So this one is very very good stuff. Um, got some uh, water and spray repellent, big one also. I got some Justin work with cream, shoe shine for leather, kiwi, um, tennis shoes for tennis shoes. Crap. Uh, this is the stuff I'm. This this stuff came with a shoe shine box, so I didn't buy it. But this is a paste. This is not. This is polish also, but this is paste. And what happens with this? With over time, it starts cracking and it starts drying out. So that's why I was telling you about getting the the actual the the jars, the glass jars, because the glass jar won't won't crack and dry like this. So this is not. I mean, in, in, unless you use it a lot, you know, you can opt to buy this. But if you don't, it's better to get the. The, the glass jar. This is brown and black. Came with a two cent box. This is mink oil. Um, this is also very good for waterproofing leather. Um, this is a shoe stretch in case you need to stretch a little bit of uh, you know on the shoe. Not a lot, just a little bit. Uh, you can put it on with triple socks and then spray it on your shoe and then they'll stretch it. Basically, it's a mixture of water and alcohol. Alcohol relaxes the fibers on leather. Um, Lexol, good stuff. This is very good stuff also. This is actually the, the cleaner. First, you put the cleaner on, and then you put the conditioner. Both things work very good also. This is just regular shoe polish. Now... I got my Kiwi Brown. This is for brown boots. This is for, for wax and duster, basically. With wax duster for just uh, removing dust, you know. Or if it has a clear coat of uh, wax, is what I use. This is for brown color when I put the brown polish on the boots or shoes. And this one for black. And then I got a bunch of this little Davers camel color. The new, haven't used it. This one is for conditioner, black polish. Well, they ain't that dirty because I clean them every time I use them. And two more. So I got little leather. This is a uh, horse hair uh, dabbers. Shoe shine cloth. And the rest of the stuff you don't need to see. It's not a bunch of little crap. But as you can see, all this crap I use for my boots and my shoes. And basically, I clean and shoe shine all the shoes in the family my daughter's boots my wife's boots 
anybody that needs conditioning on their shoes, they bring them to daddy. Uh, daddy likes to clean wax and clean shoes. I like clean shoes, uh, except my work ones. I mean, my work ones, it's impossible to keep them clean. But uh, everything else, I like to have nice, clean shoes. So, uh, well, as you can see, I have another obsession with uh, keeping, maintaining leather and, and boots and shoes. So, it's another video about me and what I like. So, thanks for watching.